This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. There may be times when you're sending messages that you need special format to make things stand out. So let's look at a few options for formatting the text of your messages. I'm going to go ahead and open up a message that I already have started. And looking at the body of this message, I want something to stand out, like thanks for helping. So remember, you always select what you want to affect. And then a nice new feature that's going on inside of Outlook 2010 is that once I've highlighted some text and I leave my mouse rested on it, I get these tools that pop up. So if all I want is to make this bold, I can just click on the bold. Or maybe I want to change the font color, I can change the font color. It's completely up to you what you do with it. Once you know the tools are there, you can see many, many things that you can do with the formatting. Now some of you aren't going to like that feature though, because you might do the highlighting. You know that you can double click to select, so if all I want to do is select the word this, I can just double click on it. And you see it's the highlighted area is not there, I move my mouse away too quickly. Well then, on the message tab, in the basic text section, you also have some formatting features. And so in here you have the font color, you can use the highlighter, you can identify whether you want something left aligned, center aligned, right aligned. You can indent if you would like to. You can change the font. It's totally up to you what you'd like to do with it. Again, once you know where the tools are, there are a lot of great tools that you can use. There's also the tab for format text. So you might find it easier to click on the format text and then you'll find the font features as well. And there's also this feature right here for clear formatting. So if you've formatted some things and you're thinking, well, that's really crazy, the fastest way to put it back to the default is just to click the clear formatting. And then if you want every possible font format feature that's available, there's a little drop down arrow here in the bottom right hand corner of the font group. All you do is click on that little drop down arrow and the dialog pops up. And once you get the dialog box that pops up, it gives you the opportunity to do any formatting that you could possibly want. So now you know a variety of ways that you can format the font and the text inside of your messages. Make your messages look really great. Make them stand out so that people want to read what you have to say.